Hey guys, just wanted to come on and make a video. I know a long time no chat. Anyways, I'm here with Sky. She's in a mood as usual. She's not too happy with me. Um, but that's another story. Sorry, I don't know why my hair looks red, but it's actually uh, blonde. <laughs> I don't know. Having some computer problems, so I'm on the old broken laptop right now. Um, you look at that sky. Um, anyways, I wanted to come on here and make an update. I know I haven't been on, and <laughs> there's reasons for that. Been super busy. Um, recently, um, got. Why do I keep saying um, sky? I don't know. Recently I uh, started working a new job. It is one of my dream jobs, obviously, so that's good news. Um, currently doing training for being a medical coder. I'm still in school. Don't know how that happened, really, because uh, I'm going to school for that. And I sit for my RHIT, which is certification or board exam that I am taking due to the school degree uh, and then I also Amy have to sit for two more uh, exams board exams one of them encoding uh, I was tempted to, to sit for one but then I don't want to be the last one in the class to get my certification <laughs> but by class I mean like my work class because we're like in a classroom setting and um this guy's listening to me now tilting her head anyhow uh that's just the I don't know if you'd call it OCD or overachiever me but it's me <laughs> and so I'm gonna try to sit for all those by the end of the year <laughs> Um, there's not much time to study right now just because I am working full time and going to school full time. Like, I literally have no life anymore. <laughs> right? And uh, so she's not too happy with that. She's used to being spoiled and just hanging out all day and then, you know, I have to go work on site for a few months. Then I get to work from home, so that'll be fun. Looking forward to that kind of what I went to school for is I was trying to be a remote coder so I could work from home so yay <laughs> uh, so that's that news and it's it was weird because the way I found out about a job was through a friend and then it was like the only job I applied for and here my career advisors were like you know apply for anything whether it's reception because then they could move you, you know like my hand you don't like my hand? Alright, we'll get rid of the hand. Felt better? Felt better. She still doesn't like my hand. So maybe if I hide it back here. Anyway. What was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, right. I, uh, the, my career advisors are saying, you know, apply for anything, and then, you know, they can move you into coding, that kind of thing, or you can try for that, so I wasn't expecting, you know, to even get a call back, and then, no and behold, yay! <laughs> um, I think they said there's 1,500 applicants, and only 20 of us were chosen, so that's just still like, whoa, you know, right? So I'll be doing that, and what? <laughs> let's see my face. Do I have a tasty face or something? I guess so. Tastes good? <laughs> She's being weird. Anyways. Oh, you heard that, huh? Just give me a kiss. Anyways, I set her down because she's killing my hands with her nails. Yep, you need to go get your, your birdie mani-pedi. Oh, you didn't like that. Gave me a present. Not the kind that you want. <laughs> Anyways. Nafiakia. 
I don't even know what I just said. Whoa, the coffee is hitting me. <laughs> Which means I probably better go without it. But anyway, um, I went, as far as like the weight and everything, I went through a... <laughs> I went through, you kind of see your head there popping up. I went through something and suddenly there was an extra, I don't know, like 10 pounds, 15? It's hard to tell. I don't exactly have a goal weight because they're like, well, we don't know how much skin you have. But suddenly it was 150 on the scale, and I'm just like, whoa. But I'm like, all right, well, I am lifting weights, you know. Maybe that's why. So I went to try my shoes on one day. Nope, didn't fit. I'm just, finally I said, enough is enough. And, uh, I guess she said, enough is enough. Right? you up on my knee. No, you gotta step up. You're fine. You were on there a minute ago. See, you're fine. Just a scary knee. But anyways, oh, we're gonna eat me now. You don't like my knee, huh? Um, I took a look at my diet, and lo and behold, it was the diet. Not me saying, ooh, uh, uh, it's more. Eh. Um, I was having about two frappuccinos a day. <laughs> then I switched to a homemade one, which was way worse. You know, put an ice cream in the shake kind of thing. So it would taste more vanilla y. And that added up to about, I want to say, 300 grams of sugar a day. And 400 grams of carbs a day, which is bad news. Um, it was just bad news. So I cut those out and the first week, it was almost overnight, I lost seven pounds. Um, but then I gained more back because, you know, time of the month decided now is the perfect time to show its ugly face. And so, you know, I gained a little bit back, but I know it's just water retention. So you will see where it's at, you know, when that's done doing its thing, so to speak. Um, but basically just did low carb, um, been struggling with dehydration, it's like 110 here, uh, and then, so I added some crystal light, I know it's not the healthiest thing, because it does have like aspartame in it and bad stuff, but I figure it's better than being dehydrated right now, because I do not want to go to no hospital for no IV, I just... I don't like IVs, I don't like needles, or birds eating my face. Um, ow. <laughs> I don't know why she's in the mood. Why are you in the mood? Anyway, I'm trying to talk here, she's not letting me. Ow. <laughs> she thinks she's the boss. Maybe she is. Anyhow, um, I cut my carbs down to about 100 a day, give or take, but I cut, I cut out bread, so it was just like fruit and vegetable carbs, uh, oh, other than coffee carbs, because I made the low carb-ish, I say ish because it's coffee crystal carb, just like the Starbucks ones for the iced coffee, and it is sweetened, so that's about my only bad carbs of the day. Um, I make a, well I do have potatoes in the morning, so I guess I have carbs from that too, but it's not like a bunch of potatoes, it's just part of like a, a casserole thing. And then for snacks I do strawberries, string cheese, and I have my lunch which is usually a salad with a raspberry vinaigrette. And then for another snack, I recently found these marigold bars, which I will do separately because they are the best ever. They're low carb, low sugar, and made from all organic stuff. It tastes really, really good. It doesn't taste like a bar. It tastes like dessert. <laughs> but anyways, and then dinner is usually some kind of protein. You know, fish, chicken, steak, whatever. And then that's it.
I try to get my food and I'm not always the best at it. Which is why I've been doing the crystal light. Sorry, I don't know why my nose is running. It does that randomly. And uh try to start working out again. Uh this week it just didn't happen. Um times a week I have to like rush home like a mad woman just to make it from my live lecture online and sit through that pretty much until the time I go to bed um don't need my hair hey I'm getting attacked here trying to talk too much. <laughs> Anyways, um, ow, ow. Stop your biting. <laughs> you just want to play. Alright, step up. You rumping around the ground? You gonna get in trouble? Just gonna get in trouble. Um, other than that, uh, things are pretty good. I see you're in the trouble over there. Anyways. <laughs> She's just troublemaker. <laughs> what are you gonna get up to? You know, other than that, I just, you know, feel like it's a good time in my life right now. I feel like, um, you know, I'm in a better place than I was before the weight loss and I have a lot of opportunities open up for me. Don't eat that. Like just the whole job thing? I wouldn't have had that before surgery, you know. Probably wouldn't even be here right now. In fact I know I wouldn't like and just to have that dream job, you know. It means a lot, and you know I'm thankful to have it. And I can honestly say it probably wouldn't have happened if I didn't have the surgery. You know, I go back and forth saying, "What did I do to myself?" Pretty much. You know, there's days where I'm just like, "Why can't I just eat bread like everybody else?" You know, there's pizza party at work, can't have the bread unless I want to be farting up a storm in there or running to the bathroom. So it's just. Like, I feel like an outsider in that, like, I don't know. And there's different junk foods, like people bring pastries, and again, it's, do I want to fart up the room with everybody in it, or run to the bathroom, or just say, no, you know, bring my own stuff. But then I feel like I'm the only one doing that, and so I just feel, I don't know, I feel like an outsider. Where are you going? Hey! Turn the way. <laughs> Trying to escape. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she's being crazy, as you can tell in the background. I'm talking. What are you doing? You're gonna need the keyboard, all right. <laughs> but and then. Like, I don't know if you guys remember the whole almost divorce thing last year. Uh, we're a lot better. And he even said, you know, he might be open to having children. And so, lately I've been exploring that idea. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Just because, well, for several reasons. Um, just like, I don't need my shoe. There's the whole, um, like the whole surgery thing for one. Uh, I have problems with iron, and I know that a baby takes iron, you know. Well, they take everything, really. You know, they suck it right up out of you. Uh, it, all the nutrients goes to them before it goes to you, so that would be a worrisome thing, especially if I haven't found a pill that works for me yet for iron, you know. Like, I could have a fusion right before I start doing that, but, you know, how long is that going to work? Don't eat my shoe! 
And then there's the whole... It's hard to think about my mom, but... I think when she had me, you know, she had to have a C-section, and then I told her she couldn't have kids after that, but I never, you know, really pressed on why that was. Um, when she was alive, like... So it's just kind of like a worrisome thing, like, can I even do that, like... And then I have something, <laughs> something called vaginismus, where I pretty much have a spastic, you know, lady parts. Stop eating my shoe! But, uh, not to get too TMI on you, but I have a dilator that's supposed to work for that. I just you know, haven't been doing that. But I feel like, you know, if I can't even make it through a pap smear, how am I going to make it through, you know, childbirth? But a friend of mine did, like, when she had hers, she went into her doctor and said, you know, I just want a C-section. I don't want to deal with the pain. So, I mean, that's probably what I would do. Just because, I don't know, I'd probably rather have that than, the, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, the episiotomy thing. Okay chop that open or <laughs> any of the stuff I'm reading in my my books uh, it, it was just pretty disturbing there is this like picture in one of my coding books I don't know what it was called but they basically stick a plunger up there to vacuum the baby out so I was just like yeah that's really gonna want to make people have families um, <laughs> But anyways, you know, I'm also, like, where are you running off to? I can't even tell. I'm 31 now, so there's not much time left hormonally, like, unless I want a bunch of hormones loaded into me or try this and that, uh, which I probably don't want to. Um, so I don't know, I just feel like I'm high risk. I'm still playing with the idea. Um, don't eat that. Hey, get your own toy. <laughs> anyway, I guess I better go find her a toy. She's gonna eat my whole apartment. I, don't know, I just feel like the whole, you know, not to sound like a Disney movie, but all of my dreams coming true. <laughs> um, I just feel like anything's possible right now. What are you doing? This guy's stuck back there talking. <laughs> Can't tell what side you're on. What are you doing? Hello. You gonna say anything else? What's she doing? No, she's not gonna talk. <laughs> I tried. Um, that's pretty much how everything is right now. Um, not sure what else to say other than my coffee just kicked in and I'm going to go work out these chicken legs. <laughs> but yeah, step up. That's pretty much what's going on. I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, about a week, my father-in-law is coming to stay with us for a week. Never met him before, so that should be interesting. But yeah, we're just two cool girls hanging out. My pink chicken. Yep, she's gonna go tear everything up, so I'm gonna go and she'll say bye bye. No, she won't. She'll probably just stare at herself, but close enough, right? <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. Say bye.